You don't have to be fearful today. We can't see the assignment of every attack against your life. Everything that the enemy meant for evil is already going to backfire. We declare that over your life right now in the powerful name of Jesus. Oh, Sunday. We release a fresh anointing over you right now. A healing anointing, anointing of deliverance. Hallelujah. Over your sphere of influence right now, we pray God's anointing and blessing right now in the name of Jesus. We declare the freedom of the Holy Ghost in your life right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm going to give you a word for today, for this hour, right now. And we can't, and, and that fear cannot prevail in your life. 2 Timothy chapter 1, starting at verse number 3, reads as such. It says, I thank God whom I serve from my forefathers with pure conscience, that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day. That's a lot of praying. Greatly desiring to see thee, being mindful of thy tears, that I may be filled with joy. When I call to remembrance the faith, the unfeigned faith that is in thee, which dwelt first in thy mother Lois, and in thy mother Eunice, and I am persuaded that in thee also. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of my hands. Wow. That's a story in itself. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Verse 8, be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who have saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who have abolished death and have brought life and immortality, hallelujah, to light through the gospel, whereunto I am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the, of the Gentiles. We cancel the assignment of fear over your life. And even though we live in a time of terrorism, and you may say, well, Pastor Young, you're saying this from the confines of Louisiana. You're not on the fire. I'd have been in some places in Newark where I needed divine protection. I'd have been in some places of Oak Cliff, Dallas, where I needed some protection. New York, I've, I've needed protection. So, like I said, my point of reference may be different from yours. Hallelujah. And some of those guys didn't need masks to come at you either. <laughs> they came for, with full face. Hallelujah. So, I've seen God protect me in arenas where I needed to be protected. Hallelujah. It is what it is. So, let's deal with the bottom line here. The Bible can only work for you when you activate these things. In addition to a covenant of healing and prosperity that people talk about, God also wants to protect you in a divine way, in a very supernatural way, just like he did Elijah, just like he did some of the men of old. They was protected. Now, you may go take this into another capacity. We're not here to dispute, uh, to, to dispute or argue with you. If you believe that you can be taken out by bullets, knives, and guns, go ahead with your bad self. Believe what you want. But I believe that God will protect me long enough to do my assignment. Hallelujah. And, and, the, and the key is knowing that you have an assignment and walking in it. You activate supernatural power and authority and supernatural protecting, protection when you're operating in the obedience that God's called you to do. God's not going to give you an assignment and don't let you finish it. Now, you may do something stupid and asinine, but don't put that on God. I believe that if God's given me an assignment, if I do what he tells me to do, then I'm going to be protected. That's just, that's just how I choose to believe. And, that, and, and for those of you that can receive this word today, this is for you. Somebody say, I receive divine protection as I walk in obedience to the Holy Ghost. That's powerful, y'all. We declare that over you today. You don't have to be afraid of terrorism. You don't have to be afraid of, 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 of the cats on two legs. You don't have to be afraid of those. Walk in the power of the Holy Ghost. Walk in the kingdom. Walk in the realm of the kingdom. When you walk in kingdom, you, you have a heavenly protection. Receive it today. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. We declare God's ridiculous, hilarious, roll upon the ground, laughable favor in your life right now, here and now. We bless you today. This is Apostle Young. We'll be talking again real soon.